Hello guys! How would you like to make this beautiful little flute? I tried to make the lute using this little wooden spoon, removing the handle, and then replaced it with a popsicle stick. And this is what I ended up with. It is pretty cute. It's the right scale for 112, but I just drew the strings and it looks more like a banjo than, than a lute. So I'm gonna try to make it again. I found these split eggs. They're made of wood, $1.99 for five pieces. I'm all about savings. And when I saw the shape, I thought that it would be perfect. I couldn't resist. The little half of the egg, it really is pretty polished. It's very smooth. I probably won't have to be doing any sanding, but I just need to cut a little piece of the top so that I get a straight edge and then I can glue the handle right, right here. If you watched any of my videos, you know that I'm all about recycling, repurposing. This used to be a cutting board that I used in the kitchen for many years, but now this is my workbench. And I'll be using the Easy Miter box to help me cut a straight edge. just this much. It's all that I need to cut. And I have to cut the popsicle stick to at about two and a half inches in length. One of the sides should be flat and one of the other ends should be rounded. I'm gonna try to follow the lines that are already here on the grain of the wood. create a little fracture right here. This one, I'm intentionally going to use this saw that makes a wide groove. And the reason for that is that I don't wanna cut it all the way through, but I want to create a fracture that would enable me to do this little bend right here. See how it's not a fine cut, it's a little bit wide and that's exactly what I need. You can see the cut is not all the way through. And what I want to do right now is I want to be able to fold it towards the, the cut. Okay, so it's bent just enough that's the right angle and I'll glue this back in and I'll reinforce it with some glue on this other side so that they don't come apart at any time a little bit of carpenters glue oops maybe that's more than I wanted but I can always brush it away and that's okay because this glue can be sanded can be painted over just remove the excess and we're good to go and i'll need a few pieces of wire and they should be about 
the same width as the handle of the lute. Right about here. Let me see. Perfect. Let's set this aside to dry. I'll be using regular gold thread for the strings. So I'm tying it around this little piece of cardboard. For what I understand, the lute had 12 strings but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit that many in my in the width of my um, handle, which is the coffee stirrer. So let's see how many I can fit comfortably. And I think this is going to be it. So now I'll space the strings I'll space them out evenly. So now that I have them wrapped up and spaced out evenly, I'm gonna glue them to my little piece of toothpick. And I'm going to glue it on the opposite side of where I drew. without disturbing the distance. And I'm just gonna remove the excess. So they have to come up a little bit after the bend. And then this is gonna be glued right here. So they have to be around here. So I'm gonna squeeze the strings together to make sure that when I glue them, they're gonna fit inside the handle. This is tricky. You know, I don't want them to cross one above the other. I want them to remain straight. And that would be right, okay. and I'm gonna hold them in place until they dry. This is probably the most annoying part. My thread is now glued onto the little toothpicks. So I'm gonna go ahead now and cut it away from, well, I'm gonna do it from this side. Now notice how they're wider apart on one side and closer together. This is the side that's going to go on the body of the loop and this is going to go on the handle. Gonna put the toothpick under the body because then it'll elevate it as much as the little piece of wire. Then add a little bit of glue. And 
join them together. And again, the most difficult part of this project is waiting. It is dry now, so I'll go ahead and glue the other part, the other end of the strings. Oops, I have to make sure that they are straight. They look beautiful already. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to trim them. One more time to be sure. One chance to do it right. I must tell you what worked and didn't work. First, I used a little spoon and I just drew the strings. And then I realized that it looked more like a banjo than it did a lute. My second attempt, I used the half egg and then it quickly became apparent that the dimensions were not right because the handle was too thick for, this, for the body of the lute. So I used instead of a popsicle stick, a coffee stirrer, and this is the final one, and I'm very happy with it. I also made the strings narrower than on, the, than on this one, so that they would stay inside the handle. And I also added a few beads right here. So these are um, for tightening the strings. It shows very expensive wood and it's not exactly like the one on the miniaturist but i would say that is pretty close let me know what you think of this project